five, and guess who has given the all clear? He's completely he's clear. He's Chris back, Roo. back in action. Chris Just Roo. posted on Instagram. Great and relieved to finally put this chapter behind me. It's been an emotional nine months. Thank you to all of those who have supported and believed me in throughout. So, Chris Let's Froome... Let's show the photo. He's given the all clear. He's going to be at Tour de France. Chris Froome's been given the all clear, so he's going to keep his World Dress Spania, keep his Giro d'Italia, mm -hmm. and his Tour de France. It's insane. I don't know how he's managed to do it. He tested positive um, for... Well, he had too much... Uh, no, asthma, in funny, his asthma blood, Double the amount. But somehow the UCI have said that Chris Froome... Is, uh, it's all good, and he's not going to be getting any punishment. It's actually insane. I think, that, like, of course he was going to be able to race again, though, because it's fucking Chris Froome. Everybody, yeah. watch, like, people watch it because of him. People watch it because of Sagan. Those are the big names. We've got a few of those really big names, and that's why people are watching. Like, I just, how did they clear him, though? I'm I just, just don't understand, confused. because it's like, he literally tested double the amount. Uh, similar people got nine month bans and all their like results retracted, but somehow Chris Froome It's because it's Froome! Yeah, but Chris Froome is the money. Chris Froome is like obviously maybe he did genuinely do nothing wrong But for me, it, it seems like a fast from the UCI and they've sort of like given into this and been like we can't yeah. have another drug scam But do you know what? I actually suspected that he was gonna be able to race today because on his Instagram story He did like hashtag Tour de France number 18 uh, with one of his mates Wow pools. Wow pools you know I'm good with the names, but he's like, last training ride before we leave for Tour de France, let's, yeah. let's do this. And I was like, holy shit, he's been given the clear. Yeah, it was and incredible though, I just can't believe he's managed to do it. Yeah, I mean... It's, it's absolutely nuts. Like, I thought, you know, he might not get banned for the Giro or the Tour, but somehow he managed to test positive for something, like double the amount in the Vuelta, and still keep it. Like there must be some. Uh, like, I can't some wait to see the money, evidence. Maybe some good money. Yeah, I can't. I can't uh, wait to see what the evidence is uh, that he's managed <laughs> to suggest and give to the UCI, so that they think that Chris Froome's done nothing wrong. Because I don't know how they could. Just don't yeah. understand. It's just like it's just, crazy. But like he must be feeling so relieved and just so like. Yeah, because he probably thought like forever his Tour de France records would be like. You know, oh. under doubt, everyone would be like, oh, but he got banned for the Vuelta or whatever. But now, yeah. Well, he's on the fifth, he's going for his fifth win. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. It yes. might look bad or corrupt on the outside. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Can you read from here? Yeah, but maybe. Oh, I can't even read from here. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, Glasses. like, it's true. Maybe it was all legit. But to be honest, for me, I, I don't really understand because they've done these tests in other sports. And, like, I mean, maybe there could be some error. But having doubled the amount, like, that's very suspect. It's, but I mean, it's like an asthma puffer. It's not like it's EPO. Yeah, but the way you could take it is if he injected it or he took it already. It has massive weight loss benefits. Yeah. Salbutamol. That's why it's banned in such high quantities. Because if you just take it with the asthma puffer, you'll never reach 2,000 nanograms per milliliter, which is what Chris Froome reached. <laughs> so <laughs> he reached literally big. double He's the amount. Big. So the only way most people think he got it was either he injected it or took it already. But obviously that's wrong. Somehow Chris Froome managed to get that reading despite having the asthma puffer. Yeah, no, he is proven an asthmatic though. So but that's, that's not up for debate, it's just how he managed to get that much. And obviously he must have shown that the test wasn't right or his body had reacted weirdly. Um, because, yeah, otherwise... And it could have been his doctor's fault. Well, yeah, his doctor said to take more asthma puffers, but even then he would have had to have like an outrageous amount of puffs on that asthma puffer. I just, yeah, it's just crazy. Oh, it's just good knowing that he's gonna be there because otherwise I wasn't gonna watch. <laughs> nah, it's good that I would have watched Cigar. It's, it's well, good that but... they managed to sort it all out and Cycling looks a little bit better. But to be honest, it shouldn't have got leaked in the first bit. It should have all been private and then I no know, one would have actually realised. I know, because drugs in sport. There's drugs in all the sports. I mean, there's you look at the World Cup. Soccer. There's no chance anyone's going to get pinged in the World oh. Cup because FIFA have got all their players back. <laughs> so, like, that's... that's well, we've truth. got some questions here, actually. 15 puffs a day keeps the competitors away. That is very <laughs> true. Do enjoy that. Um, yeah, this is a live. Effect. We are the first ones to know. Froome actually messaged me. Sent me a little <laughs> private DM. He was like, hey, get some with Tori. Um, I'm giving the clear. Make a video about me. <laughs> yeah, he is. Uh, it must be good for him, though, because he's, like, done the three Grand Tours in a row. Uh, and will he, get, will he get the Tour de France, which would be his fifth Grand Tour in a row, which would be pretty... Fourth, sorry, in a row, which would be no, pretty insane. No, this is his fifth, isn't it? No, his fifth Tour de France, but in a row, because he's won the, the Tour, oh, yeah, the World to the Giro, and maybe the Tour again. Shit, that but, yeah. boy's gone big. The big boy himself. One to watch. Well, I'm going to post this video now. I just wanted to let you guys know. And yeah, you can leave your comments below. I'll do another live stream later. Yeah, I've got a lot but... of Tour de France footage. Check me out. <laughs> Charlie Garbs and Cycling. Yeah, check out Charlie. He's got a great YouTube channel. 
And yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you later.